We now discuss the solution of a problem from the section integral calculus and this problem is on the evaluation of definite integral. This question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 24th June 2022 in the second shift. The given problem is the value of the integral integral minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 of dx by the in the denominator 1 plus e power x multiplied by sine power 6x plus cos power 6x is equal to we are given four options option a 2 pi option b 0 option c 5 option d pi by 2 so we are given this definite integral and we have to evaluate this integral and find the correct answer from these given four options we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail let's call the given into definite integral as i and call this as the equation 1. So, i denotes the given definite integral. We have, we recall a formula what we have studied. Integral alpha to beta f of x dx is equal to integral alpha to beta f of alpha plus beta minus x dx under the given ideal conditions. So, this is the formula what we have. So, we apply this to evaluate this one. Now, i is equal to integral minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 fx dx where fx is this function 1 by 1 plus e power x into sin power 6x plus cos power 6x. That is our fx. Now, we apply the above formula now. So, that is equal to integral minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 f of wherever there is x, you write alpha plus beta minus x. In our case, it is pi by 2 plus minus pi by 2 minus x. So, f of this is equal to integral minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2, pi by 2, pi by 2 cancels and we will get f of minus x. So, this is, this is equal to integral minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 in f of x, wherever there is x, you replace it by minus x. That will be equal to 1 by 1 plus e power minus x multiplied by sine of minus x whole power 6 plus cos of minus x whole power 6. Now, e power for e power minus x, we have written 1 by e power x and taken the LCM. Then you will get e power x plus 1 by e power x. That e power x will come to the numerator. Then that will be e power x by 1 plus e power x. And note down, sine of minus x is minus sine x, but raised to the power of 6, where 6 is even. Therefore, it will be sine power 6x only sin power 6, x only and cos of minus x is cos x and to the power of 6 is cos power 6, x. So, we get integral minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 e power x by e power x plus 1 multiplied by sin power 6, x plus cos power 6, x with respect to x. Let us call this as the equation so, we have the equation 1 and equation 2. What are we going to do? We add them. Then, we see what happens in the next slide. So, we have i from the equation 1. We have i 
from the equation 2 which we have already seen in the last slide. So now add, if you add it will be i plus i to i and uh, integral minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2, here it is 1 e and here it e power x 1 plus e power x and the new denominator is common. So that will be that will be 2i is equal to integral minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 1 plus e power x by the denominator is as it is as in the above. So that is e to the power of 1 plus e power x multiplied by sine power 6 x plus cos power 6 x with respect to x. Now 1 plus e power x 1 plus e power x will cancel and you will get that is equal to integral minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 of 1 by sine power 6 x plus cos power 6 x in the denominator with respect to x. And now down the integrand, the integrand is 1 by sine power 6 x plus cos power 6 x is an even function. That means if you replace x by minus x, it will remain same. It will remain same. So therefore, therefore it is an even function. Therefore, minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 integral will become 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2. So, that is equal to 2 times integral 0 to pi by 2, 1 by sine power 6 x plus cos power 6 x with respect to x because the integrand is an even function. Now, 2i is equal to 2 times of this integral, 2 to cancels and i will be equal to integral 0 to pi by 2, 1 by sine power 6 x plus cos power 6 x dx. We have to evaluate this we have to evaluate this that we will do in the next slide. So, we have i is integral 0 to pi by 2 1 by sin power 6 x plus cos power 6 x dx. Uh, this is uh, this 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 is sin square x whole cube plus cos square x whole cube then we apply a cube plus b cube formula then you will get uh, a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square and in the place of a sin square x in the place of b cos square x if you write you will get uh, this one integral 0 to pi by 2 1 by sin square x plus cos square x into sin power 4 x minus sin square x into cos square x plus cos to the power of 4 x dx this is what we get. And we know sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Then we will have integral 0 to pi by 2, 1 by sin power 4x minus sin square x into cos square x plus cos to the power of 4x dx. To evaluate this one, in the denominator, we have taken cos to the power of 4x common. Let us see what happens. Integral 0 to pi by 2, 1 by cos to the power of 4x, if you take common, it will be sin power 4x by cos power 4x that is tan power 4x minus this will be tan square x plus 1. So, this 1 by cos to the power of 4x is secant to the power of 4x in the numerator and uh, for one secant square x we have written 1 plus tan square x and the other secant square x we kept as it is. So, that will be equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 1 plus tan square x into secant square x by tan to the power of 4x minus tan square x plus 1 dx. What are we trying? So, we are converting everything in terms of the tan. So, that is that's what we have done it and now substitute tan x is equal to t. So, put to tan x is equal to t, differentiate secant square x dx is equal to dt. Now, what happens to their limits? When x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, tan 0 is 0 that is t is 0. So, when x is 0, t is 0. When x is pi by 2, tan pi by 2 is infinity. That is, when x is equal to pi by 2, t tends to infinity. Now, the integral 0 to pi by 2 will be converted into 0 to infinity in terms of t. So, that will be integral 0 to infinity 1 plus t square secant square x dx is dt by t power 4 minus t square plus 1. This is what uh, we have. Now, take t square common both numerator and denominator. So, we will have t square into 1 plus 1 by t square in the numerator by in the denominator t square into t 
square plus 1 by t square minus 1. t square t square cancels and uh, is a Eretuin technique. This one what we will write try to write is a t minus 1 by t whole square in terms of that and adjust the terms and that will be equal to integral 0 to infinity 1 plus 1 by t square dt by in the denominator we have written t minus 1 by t whole square that will give you t square plus 1 by t square minus 2 into t into 1 by t is minus 2. So, here is minus 1 to adjust the term plus 1. Yeah, great. Now, put t minus 1 by t is some other variable let us say u t minus 1 by t is equal to u. Now, what happens to the limits? When uh, t is 0, when t is 0, mm, uh, 0 minus 1 by 0, that is minus infinity. That means u tends to minus infinity. So, t minus 1 by t u, when differentiated, you will get differential of t is 1, differential of minus 1 by t is plus 1 by t square dt is equal to du. When t is equal to 0, u tends to inf minus infinity. So, when t is 0, this is 0 minus 1 by 0, that is minus infinity. So, u tends to minus infinity. When when t tends to infinity, this is infinity, minus 1 by infinity is 0. So, u tends to infinity. So, the integral 0 to infinity will now become integral minus infinity to plus infinity in terms of t. So, that will be equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity in terms of u, in terms of u, 1 by u square plus 1. It's a dead easy. So, the integral is tan inverse u. So, tan inverse u between the, to be evaluated between the limits, uh, u is equal to minus infinity plus infinity. That is uh, tan inverse for the upper infinity is pi by 2 minus tan inverse for the lower is minus infinity is minus pi by 2. That is pi by 2 minus half minus pi by 2 that is pi. So, that, that's your answer. So, that's your answer. So, the i value is pi. So, let us look at our options. Our answer pi appears against option C. Therefore, our answer to this question is option C. That is the discussion of the solution of a problem from integral calculus that is to evaluate a given definite integral. It is little lengthier. But, uh, but it is a not very easy question, but it is a definitely an easy question and a routine question. So, I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you.